It's watching me as I'm watching it. What's it gonna do? The trap is set. Well, as you can see, it appears that the alligator has been trapped. There's a movement. Okay, Joanne, you got your noose ready? Yes. I'm going to put my, my paper right down here. I'll pick it up when I leave. Okay, Joanne, you got your noose ready? Yes. 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 Alligator wrangler. <laughs> Thank you so much. You must have a pet. <laughs> I do. I have an English bulldog. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> This is a relatively small one. In fact, it's very small. But uh, well, tell they, me about the biggest one that you've caught. Uh, we've caught some bigger ones. Uh, but these, some of them, if they're small, we can relocate them. If they're, um, this one, I have to measure. He's close to being able to relocate. But most of them, we have to butcher, and uh, we go to people's where they're in people's ponds. Occasionally there'll be one on the highway that we have to go get. But uh, 
That's wow. about it. Wow. So if uh, people have an alligator, do they call you? They call the game department, the Florida Wildlife Commission, and they issue a permit for each individual alligator. And uh, they, uh, then they, there's, I think there's three, tra three, three trappers in Duval County, and they rotate around and give, give us a permit for, for the, the nuisance ones. Now that's, that's like I say, there's two different programs. There's the nuisance program and the regular uh, alligator hunting season. But we do the nuisance anytime that they call us. But they have to call the, the fish, the Florida Wildlife Commission.